Okay, I'm making this video today to show how to make uh, how to make an additional materials page onto your unit pages in your virtual classroom. This is a a demo classroom that I made, and uh, I'm starting on a chapter page. So this is uh, taught world history for years. One of my favorite uh, units is World War One. So here's Chapter Nine, World War One, and uh, one of the things that I notice is I made you know I've I've worked with Google Sites for years now as I've made these is without even thinking I do additional materials pages and you can see this guy down here I've got the additional materials right there um, I almost don't even think about it anymore it's like when I build a page I almost automatically build an additional materials page uh, right then and there so um, I'm gonna show you how to do that and and why to do it so uh, first of all the how because that's the easiest thing um, when you're in a page and you you load up the editor you you first click new page and, uh, looks like it's taking its time really taking its time there we are and what what I usually do is I put you know for my for my name I put additional materials and I have on my website I have tons of these because I build them so often so I have lots of web pages that are named additional materials and that really doesn't matter because what's gonna happen is it's gonna where you put it is is gonna add to the name so this is the important thing when you do these my recommendation is you do two things when you first create them instead of using a web page template use announcements why because it announcements just makes it much easier to add materials and each thing that you add in announcements is its own URL that you can link later and that's one of the primary reasons why you build an additional materials page the other thing is important too is pay attention to location you know obviously the default setting when you create a page is put page at top level you actually want to do this put page under chapter 29 and notice you've got that thing now if I actually made this page we'd have a problem because I have one already that is named that um, and then of course I'd click create and that would make it and it would bring me to the page I'm not going to actually do that I'm gonna click cancel because I already have one of these and I'm going to show you what is in my additional materials page so when you go down here uh, a couple things I want you to notice that the additional materials is not in the navigation I set up my navigation over here this is where in world history B unit 7 I set up my navigation here to where you wouldn't see anything of any sub pages I'm starting to get to that place where I don't want to do that um, I usually recommend when you begin show all the sub pages but you're gonna get to a place where you've got so many you have to do something about navigation and so you, you know you to get to this you'd have to click on world history B or up here you'd click world history B and then I've actually you can't even find chapter 29 from here you actually have to go into unit 7 there we are as we go into unit 7 and then I have to find chapter 29 over here so and and I figured this is fairly easy navigation if I had a student that needed to find this you know and they they understood that we were in chapter 29 it's not too hard you know if you if you roll over this you can see that chapter 29 is part of that then once you land on this page not too hard to click that chapter 29 link so again important point with an additional materials page not really something you want showing up in your navigation so you 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 create it but you don't advertise it because the thing about additional materials is like a closet you know you keep the door closed you only open it when you need something so if you were to actually look into my additional material page which the only way you could find it is by going all the way down to the bottom and clicking this I know where that is because I'm, I'm gonna use this fairly often and uh, what you'll see in here are just some of the miscellaneous things that I have in this class I've got um, let's see uh oh this one's a slow one to load because there's a slideshow involved I locked this up when you're filming on your screen it slows everything down
There we are. <laughs> that took a while. See, and I've got this slideshow that goes from one slide to another. I've got the notes. So uh, I put that in here. And, of course, obviously these are um, from Chapter 29. I've got a Causes of World War I link that I have on the main page. I've got, uh, this is an actual assignment, Relative Strength of World War I com Combatants. That doesn't have a link on the main page, but if I were to link that on a homework page, then I would be good. I uh, got the map page. This is one of my favorites. And anything else? Let's see if I've got anything else. There are probably key terms. Yep, key terms. Now, if you go back, and I've only got five posts, going back to the announcement format, what I like with this is to make a new post, you just click on this, and I give this a title. I'll just call this Chapter 29 Assignment. And then I could put anything I wanted in here. You know, I would say if this was a real assignment, I'd give it its right title. Now, what's really cool about this is um, each post you make is its own individual web page without you having to go through the hassle of making a web page and figuring out where it's going to go and navigation. None of that. You just put it in here. I click Save. And if you go to the additional materials page, which again, no one really ever sees, then it's going to show up under here. And there it is. And of course, there's nothing in there because I didn't put anything there. But going back to the chapter page, what I could do is if I wanted to actually make a link for that particular assignment, I could put it in here somewhere and... Uh, add it. Let's let's just uh let's play around with that for a second. Hmm, where could I put it that would make sense? Nowhere really, but I'll just mess around with here. Let's say I did this. And uh I put in there, highlight it, link it up. I like to open it, link in a new window, but that's that's your own choice. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click that. And of course, I would want this looking a little bit better, so I'm going to make this match all the other titles. You can see I do my titles pretty pretty simply. <laughs> I don't do them too complicated. I just make them a bigger font. I think I have too many spaces there. A lot of trial and error when you do these. You just set this up. By the way, just because you just saw under the hood, this particular page is a, uh, when you look at page template, it's a two uh, double-sided template. Uh, comp uh, not simple because I've got a top bar, then I have two bars. One is where the chapter notes and chapter 29 terms are and, and all that. Um, if I click on this chapter 29 assignment, then it's going to open up over here. Uh-oh, something went wrong there. So, that's interesting. Okay, well, what happened? Hmm, try that again. Okay, I'll click on that. I'm going to go back here. I must have somehow screwed up. This is normally a very easy procedure. It's because I'm making the video. Okay, so then I click on this and change. Just to make sure. Maybe it's because I hadn't saved it when I clicked the link. I don't know. There we are. So, by making an additional material page, 
It makes it very easy to link things onto the main chapter page. And also, one of the things about having a virtual classroom is it's a wonderful, wonderful storage site for your curriculum materials. And so as you come up, you know, let's say it's summertime and you're sitting around, you're thinking about your curriculum and, you know, you've got some time on your hands, you're not grading a million papers, and you're trying to think about how you can improve things, you could eventually get to where you put all of the assignments that you assign for Chapter 29 in Chapter 29 materials and then when that student is is absent and they say, oh, I missed, you know, you can literally send them a link for the assignment, which makes it easy. I always, um, if, you know, I always do calendar pages. If you go to, uh, let's see, if I go to World History B, I always put calendars on here. And then on my home page on this, I have a homework uh, uh, deal. Here it is. And so I could put, uh, you know, each day when I do my daily announcements, if I put them on this announcement thing and I made this into a homework sheet, I can link a particular assignment inside this that you could find and it would uh, it would get through that and, you know, a student would be able to pull that up and it would be right there. And then, of course, I know that ultimately that material is in my additional materials part of Chapter 29. I keep it all there. And so for me as a teacher, anytime I need to go under the hood and see what I've got in, in this. The other thing too, again, because no one really sees it, there it, it really has it really doesn't make any difference what order you put your additional materials in. You know, you, you come up with this new assignment, just chuck it in there. Don't worry about where it's gonna be because no one's ever gonna see it. And when they when you link it, it's only gonna pull out what you link. You know, for example, the chapter twenty nine map page was one of the additional materials pages. It was an announcement, but it was a post, a blog if you want to look at it that way. Uh, but when a kid clicks on the link or a student clicks on the link, or a viewer I should say, uh, look at what it, you don't see that this is part of, uh, you know, if, you, if you're savvy and you're looking up at the top, you can see the additional materials. But the only material you're going to see when you click that link is that particular item. You see nothing else. So it really doesn't matter what order you put things in. And that's why that's why additional material pages are so great. They allow you to pair your material with your particular unit and then link it to your unit whenever you want. And so you've got, you know, anytime you want to put things. And I don't always put everything there. If you were to click on a chapter uh, video link, let's get a long one like Shell Shock. So that's going to pull up, see where that brings us. So that's going to pull us up to, that That comes from films and video clips. And that's got the movie on here with the movie worksheet and all of that. So um, I don't always link it to additional materials. But where I can, I, I do. Because I want to keep things together. And uh, the reason I actually put videos in a separate place is I learned long ago I use videos in multiple classes. And so I might use the same video in two or three classes. And so I'm not going to actually house that video inside another class I would house it uh, in its own place and I, and I learned that by initially I started and then I went backwards so anyway uh, that's a different subject but uh, I hope that you have have seen why to use additional materials pages and how easy it is you know it literally takes seconds to make these and uh, as long as you remember to make them a sub page of what you have you never need to think of them unless you need them so uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me or call me, and I'd be happy to help you out with this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.